Lately my thoughts got me distant Darker days filling up darker minds Stuck in this room that keeps spinning Wondering how you been, where you hide Late night drinking, wishful Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Cheryl with I Style, My Style. Happy Friday! TGIF, right? So today's video is actually a continuation of my shop with me home decor haul that I did on Wednesday. On Wednesday, I did a shop with me where I took you guys with me as I went to see what was at my local Ross and Home Goods. I went into TJ Maxx, but I didn't film in there because there wasn't anything in there for me to pick up. There was not a lot of things at Home Goods either. I mean, they had stuff, but just nothing that I would want to buy. And I told you guys in that video, I was shopping with free money. I had gotten $250 as a gift card and I love shopping with free money. Raise your hand if you like shopping with free money. So when I have free money, it always seems like I can never find anything to buy. So, as I said, this video is a continuation of that. So, I'm going to finish letting you watch what I saw in the store at Home Goods. They had some really good things, and there was one thing I almost bought. You guys know I have been loving the animal prints lately. So, keep your eye out, see if you can spot it, and come on, let's go see what they had left in, or not left, but let's go see what they had in Home Goods and then I'll come back and show you the haul. I'm doing a refresh on my laundry room so I am over here checking out baskets I'm trying to determine do I want to put baskets in my laundry room they had some really cute baskets but the more I thought about it it just seems like really farmhouse to me so I mixed the basket idea I am in the market for a new white office chair and when I saw these I was so excited I thought they may work I took one down and I sat in it and it was too low oh my gosh I was so upset it would have been perfect for my office love interrupted by tragedy lost in the drought of
She ran to the west side And though much was stolen Much still abides And I know she'd rather keep her distance But as time moves on She's drifting away Drifting away from me But did the ocean breeze you? Did the palm They had some really nice wood paint I really like this pedestal set. If my house wasn't so modern and I was more, I guess maybe organic industrial, I would certainly have picked these up because I do like them a lot. I was in the bath section looking for some decorative pieces again that maybe I could use in my laundry room makeover. Um, there wasn't really a lot there. I did see this really cool matte black. Um, I guess it's what you would use to put your toothbrush in. I really liked it. I seriously thought about getting it because one of them was on clearance. Um, the other pieces weren't. But because I really don't need any new bathroom utensils or holders, I decided to pass it up. I saw this cute little Peter Rabbit dinnerware set and I fell in love. It was so, so cute. It reminded me of when my mom used to read Peter Rabbit to me and then when I got old enough I would read it to myself and then I would read it to my girls when they were younger. But I love, love, love this dinnerware set. If I were more into whimsy, I certainly would have picked it up. It was that cute. So if you guys are into whimsy and this set appeals to you, I would run to your nearest home goods to see if they have it in your local stores.
I really love this black and white abstract and I was thinking, should I get it? And then I thought, no, I could do a DIY and that's what I'm going to try to do. So make sure if you have not hit the subscribe button, make sure you do so because you do not want to miss that DIY. This chair was very interesting and was giving me, I don't know, Art Deco, uh, mid-century modern vibes, but, but I did like it. It was unique. this mirror was really really interesting it was kind of Moroccan Indian and really a great price for the size
Did you see those large mirrors? Oh my gosh, restoration hardware, anyone? I know they were all the rage last year around this time because restoration hardware was trending and everyone was looking for those mirrors. They're just now showing up at my store. I wouldn't buy them anyway because they're too big. I wouldn't have anywhere to put them, but I was happy to see them and the price was $4.99. Not too bad at all. So if you are still into restoration hardware and those oversized mirrors, make sure you go check out your home goods because I'm sure you will probably find them at your store too. So now on with the haul. I'm going to start with, what am I going to start with? Um, let's start with Ross. So, as you guys saw in Ross, I was very excited when I came across this particular item because I had saw, had saw, I saw it on Glamour Ellen's um, um, home decor haul. She showed this really pretty abstract statue I love it. I mean, it is so me. You guys know black and white, as you can see around me, are my signature colors with a pop of green, as you can see here. And I use green plants to bring in my greenery, but I love this. I thought this was absolutely perfect for me. And I can see this styled on my console table in my living room, on my DIY oversized restoration hardware books. If you guys missed that DIY, I will leave that linked in the description box down below, as well as in the iCards above, in case you are interested to see how I made those. I absolutely love them. Next up from Ross, I also picked up this really pretty, I don't know, it's like a coral type, and I just love the aesthetic of it. I love the color, the sparkle, you guys know. I love decorating with a modern flair with a little touch of glam. And I saw this and it was so me. It was $12.99. So I thought it was a great buy and it had to come home with me. I can also see this styled on a stack of books, maybe in my loft area or here on the coffee table. Really, really love this. So I picked this up. Oh, and I forgot to tell you this particular piece was $16.99, not a bad price for something besides. It is made out of, I wanna say, I don't know, some type of resin material, but still I thought it was a good buy and it looks so much more expensive than what I paid for it. In keeping with coral and seashells, I picked up this one now. You're probably saying, hmm, Cheryl, that doesn't really look like you. And you're right, it doesn't. But when you see something in the store and it may not be your particular style, don't count it out because this little guy 
reminds me of a coral piece that I wanted. I want to say it was from CB2 or Crate and Barrel. And it was always going out of stock. It was like, I could never find it. So when I saw this, it reminded me of that piece. And you know what I'm going to do, guys? Yep, I am going to paint it. And I'm going to paint it white. And then it will fit perfectly in my home. And the best part, I only paid $12.00. And 99 cents. I absolutely love it. And I think it mimics that crate and barrel piece perfectly or CB2. I don't remember which one, but I will put up a photo here so you can check it out. I think I saved a lot of money and I still get that same look for less. You guys know I am all about that Lux look for less. And if you are new here and you are liking the channel content so far, please give the video a thumbs up and I would so appreciate it if you have not yet subscribed. If you would hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell and become a member of the iStyle My Style family. I love home decor. I love decorating with style on a budget and I try to do it in the most affordable and budget friendly way as possible. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe. Now, this next piece I picked up from CB2 and I absolutely love it. I forgot to show you this in the last haul, but it is this candle striker. Now, I have seen a lot of people feature this on their channels and they say, like, whoop, it doesn't really work. And I was like, so what? It doesn't work. It's pretty. I like it. So I want it. <laughs> so I picked this up. I want to say this was $39.99 or $49. I don't think I would have paid $50 for it. Certainly not. Hopefully not. I'll have to look, but I'll leave it linked in the description box below if you're interested, but I absolutely love it. I love the aesthetic of it. I love the brass color. You guys know I am bringing in some brass. That's more of a champagne goat, but I am bringing in some brass, brass, some brass to try to warm up my home a little bit. And I thought this was perfect. It's the perfect aesthetic on my coffee table and my living room. I just love the way it looks against the black and the green. So, so perfect. So, so me. Absolutely love this piece. Then the next item I got is from... Amazon. I have been liking animal prints and in my last video or the video before the last one I showed you guys some zebra pillows that I'm going to be using here in my lounge and when I went back to look at the site I saw these really pretty cheetah print pillows. Oh my gosh look how they look on my couch and so now I'm rethinking my decision. Should I use the zebra print or should I put those upstairs in the loft and use the zebra print or put the cheetah print down here and the zebra print upstairs in my loft because I found this baby and it is a three panel cheetah print canvas and I absolutely love it. And this is how it looks. And I'm thinking about not doing a separation between them. I wanna keep them all together. So I'm gonna do some sort of DIY on this so I can hang it on the wall as one solid piece. But I absolutely love the way it looks. So leave me a comment down below. Are you an animal lover? Like, I haven't seen a lot of animal prints lately and I don't know, I'm just, I'm loving the animal print. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because it's they're black and white and they look so awesome and so high end and expensive to me. I just absolutely love them. These pillowcases only cost me $13, I think a piece, but they are linked to my Amazon store. Whenever I feature anything from Amazon, it will always be linked to my Amazon store. So make sure you go over and check it out in case you're interested. And my last two pieces, again, this was just a continuation of my previous video, so not as long. Some of you may like that, some of you may not, but one thing. 
Okay, so these next two items I picked up from Amazon. These are for my laundry room, and I don't know if you can see that or not. I absolutely love this. It's a acrylic laundry container. It says laundry detergent on it. And this one also says fabric softener. I absolutely love these. I think these are very modern. They're like little milk cartons and I think they would be like the perfect aesthetic for my laundry room. The perfect aesthetic for my laundry room. You guys know I am redoing my laundry room and I am almost finished. So that will be my next video coming up, guys, if you're interested in that. And then it will be my clean and decorate with me for my lounge, but I absolutely love these. And while I was in the store at Ross, I showed you a Marble Lazy Susan, and I asked you if you thought I would pick that up. So I'm sure many of you know that, yes, Cheryl did pick that up. I had to. It was marble. You guys know I'm on a marble kick. So I thought it would be perfect to set these on the Lazy Susan in my laundry room. So I can, I don't do laundry as I, as I told you in my last video, but I think these would be perfect. And then as my boyfriend's doing laundry, he can swivel the Lazy Susan to get the items that he needs. So, so perfect. So these will also be linked in my Amazon store if you are interested in picking these up. Oh, the last thing or one next to the last thing is this little guy. Oh no, there's three more things. This little guy. I absolutely love him. He is also a coral piece and I love the detail. You guys know summer is coming up and I thought this was look so pretty, perfectly styled on a coffee table, either here in my entryway or on, or not my entryway, in my lounge or just as decor in general, sitting around my house. I think this is absolutely perfect. So, so pretty and this only costs $19.99, which way you can see that, but I love it. I just love the aesthetic of this. I think this piece is so, so pretty. Absolutely love it. And my, whoops. You guys know I recently lost my sister, which was, I'm not going to talk about it, but she, um, we love butterflies. And so when I saw these in Home Goods, and I don't want to blind you, they reminded me of her. And butterflies are going to be our family symbol for her or any of our family members who have passed away. And when I saw this, I thought this would be perfect for my dining table. They are very sparkly, very pretty, very glam take them out of the pack. You can see that so, so pretty. Look at that sparkle. Absolutely love it. So I figure every time I use these, I will think of my sister. And these were very affordable. Let's put the lid back on. And these only cost me $12.99. And they look so much more expensive. Than that absolutely love them as I said I don't want to blind you so I picked up not one but two of these so I could have a seating of eight now the last piece I wanted to show you is from West Elm I believe but I saw it and I absolutely love it I love the aesthetic of this face you guys know I've been on a face kick lately I don't need any more faces but when I saw that oh I actually ordered two more. <laughs> I actually ordered two more vases and it's all mama from scratch's fault because she showed me this really pretty fluted vase and it was white and it was from the at home store and I had to get it. But anywho, I saw this one and it wasn't at my local store so I had to order it online. And I don't know if you did, if you knew or not, but now you can order from at home online and have it shipped to your store. Yay! 
But back to this vase, I absolutely love it. I love the, I don't know, Aztec, it's not Aztec. I just love the design of this vase. I think it is absolutely perfect. It's very modern, very much my aesthetic. Absolutely love it. I cannot wait to use it for summer. I think it will look perfect here, either on my table for spring, summer, or some in some other place in my home. But I, I absolutely love the look. So that is all that I picked up, guys. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my haul. Have you guys gone to Ross or Hongoods or TJ Maxx lately? And if you did, have you seen anything new in store that you haven't seen there before? I just, I've noticed they've started bringing in a lot of Asian influence pieces, a lot of African influence pieces, and I absolutely love that. It's not my design aesthetic, but I love seeing those type of items in store. So yeah, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've seen anything that you haven't seen in the past at your local home decor stores. And if you have come across any new home decor, home decor stores that you think I might be interested in, leave them in the comments down below. You know, guys, I love shopping. I love shopping on a budget. And if you have any ideas or suggestions for that, I don't need any more stuff. I really don't. I'm a shopaholic. <laughs> I, need, I need therapy. But retail therapy is my stress reliever. It's my guilty pleasure. But again, I do it all on a budget. So enough rambling guys i hope you have enjoyed today's video as i said if so please give it a thumbs up like comment share and subscribe i hope you become a member of the i style my style family if you have not already done so and i hope to see you in the next one bye bye guys